everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 1, Episode 4 of Ultron Legendary Fender called The Fall of the Castles of Lion. Anyway, so we start off with the local story, are doing a reenactment, and we found out that Laura is planning on leaving tomorrow on the ship, which is also the castle. But she wants to leave a device to uh, contact, for the locals to contact them if something happens. Then Shira is rightfully worried about having the ship open to like everybody. There's no shield, there's no anything. And uh, they're like, oh, it's fine. He's like, well, I'm going to do a perimeter check anyway. Then we cut to Resendak and um, his right hand uh, mimic the drone that Pidge has to their own. Then we cut to where Allura talks to mice and knows Pidge's secret. Then Lance is starting to feel homesick. And then we cut to where Allura and Pidge talk and it's kind of awkward. And then Pidge says that she is leaving. And that, um, so then we cut and, you know, Laura gets upset with that. She's like, I don't care, I'm still leaving. Then we cut to where the guard officer created a second drone that has a built-in explosion device in it. And but it was just like the one that Pidge has, but it's like a tiny bit darker or something with like, um, Pidge just has like a light blue light. The other one has like a, it's like a darker blue. Anyway, then Lance and Coran talk of homes and then the team is upset and more people kind of want to go home because, you know, it's been a minute. And then the officer's drone gets into the bridge where Coran and Lance are about to leave and then he Lance starts to see that um starts to see Pidge in the background with the drone. So he he just saw that something was about to happen, Lance starts to explode and saves so Coran, but Lance got knocked out. Then we cut to where the village is under attack and they need crystals. So Pidge made modifications to the pod and so Coran and freaking Hunk take off and leave and then we cut to where Sendak is approaching and then it's versus Shiro in a really cool fight scene and it came off to a standoff and then they use Lance to make um freaking Shiro stand down and knocked him out then Sendak took over the castle and he's been on watching the castle then Laura is kicked out with Keith because when they went to go investigate the village that it was just it was a big misdirect. Like, the, yes, the village was on fire. That's only because um, the drones were faked out. And um, mainly, like, there were drones there, but they were just, like, propped up on six, kind of, kind of like scarecrows type deal. Then Pidge contacts Allure and tells Pidge to cut the turbine. Then Corrine said the, um, they need a crystal from the animal talking to Hunk. And we found out that it's, uh, it's called the Balmera. And then Vagara. But it got turned into a Gara mining colony and they got spotted. But they managed to get away into like one of the big craters. But then they hit one of the things and they crash land. Then we cut to where Pidge is um, trying to infiltrate the turbines and is trying to work on it. And then it got, it was cut in and out. So she didn't know what to do. So she literally just punched it with her Bayard. And that was the end of the episode. And it, I like this episode a lot. I gave it an A+. Plus. I completely had to do this in another take because I got so freaking confused. It was blowing my mind. So, <laughs> it's been a weird couple of days. But anyway, well, weeks, but whatever. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed that. Um, the, um, I really enjoyed the episode. The fight scenes were really good. And um, I just really enjoyed it. And the story, I think, is going along pretty good as well. Overall, I just enjoyed it, and that's going to do for this video. For me, this is even more awkward than it has to be. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next video. Hopefully, I'll get my crap together. Bye. <laughs> Hopefully.